Why, hello there, everybody. Mike here, and welcome to another episode of Spiral Up. Now, I find it absolutely amazing how lost I actually feel right now, especially after completing my college degree. I've been experiencing a mix of, like, extreme peace and with frantic desire, all backed by a real desire to achieve something right now. And ironically, I thought I had it all figured out. You know, I've got these videos. I finally started writing a podcast that I've been talking about launching. And I've finally had the time to read and study the things that are truly interesting to me. And the more that I contemplate this feeling, the more that I realize that I just don't have those moments or those milestones that I really used to have and loved in school. I don't have those moments of success or celebration and the feeling of accomplishment that I had back then that I do now. Gone are the days of completing tasks, receiving feedback. The only thing that I have right now is my focus, my process, and my commitment to my craft. Lately, I've been finding myself celebrating these systems, celebrating those processes, celebrating the moments where I committed to doing what I said I was going to do. And Brian Johnson and Optimize, they literally just did a series of videos that explains why we need to celebrate those small victories. Now, the following quote is from B.J. Fogg, author of Tiny Habits. Check it out. Celebration will one day be ranked alongside mindfulness and gratitude as daily practices that contribute most to our overall happiness and well-being. Now, how amazing is that? And that leads me to ask you, how well do you do at celebrating the things that you actually do? Do you have any room for improvement on celebrating? I want you to think about that. More importantly, I want you to do something about that. But whatever you do, feel better today. Well, getting better for tomorrow. We're going to see you later. <laughs> Bye-bye.